So guys, um, I guess you could call this part two of the brand new Schwinn um, Memento uh, bicycle. Um, spring of 2013, first bicycle of the year, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, assembly video. Thank you for your comments and PMs that were sent me, even the, um, the ones that were quite interesting. Um, you know, there were some good points raised either way. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the part one of this video. Well, in part two comes the actual uh, tune-up of the bicycle. Now I'll give you a once-over on the stuff that I noticed pretty much right away. Other than the obvious uh, low air on the tires, which is uh, minor. There is a, um, I don't know if you want to call it a cosmetic issue, where the brake levers aren't uh, lined up. You have one pointed down and one pointed up. Which, that's a minor, um, I, like I said, assembly cosmetic issue. Now, like I said in part one of the video, the assembler puts the bars on the bike. Well, see how this one brake cable running from the front brake? Um, well, both of the cables here, all three of them, run behind the bars and then over. Well, they're actually supposed to run in front of the bars. Um, one being what it does is it puts stress on the cables if you notice here it runs behind so when you squeeze the lever you see how the lever doesn't pop uh, back right away that's because there is undue tension on the cable or resistance on the cable where if the uh, the brake cable was run more um, directly it'd be more fluid motion and there should be no or very little or minimal resistance um, as well as I've seen it in retail locations, of course, where the axle nuts were loose, where they've uh, sometimes physically have even fallen off before the bicycle had even left the store. I've seen retail locations where the pedals uh, have fallen off shortly after the kid has started or adult has started riding, which I've covered this in other videos. When that happens, quite often it strips the threads out of the um, you know the arms of the crank there which then quite often ends up um, you know a replacement part is needed so I'm pretty much going to go over make sure all the bolts are tight from the quality control end of the factory of the assembly and uh, the plane the assembler in the store in-house itself and one of the other things I noticed uh, upon getting the bike even the seat was loose itself on the post this clamp at the bottom wasn't even tight, so therefore it was rocking in the, you know, in the seat tube there. So it was like, you know, whatever, you you would never have been able to have ridden this bike without um, have noticing that seat being loose. But yeah, I'm going to start here just doing a general tune-up on it. There is no repair needed to this unit, of course, at this time being a brand new bike still with tags on. But uh, I'm going to get at her, do the adjustments on where needed, switch things back to where they should be, and, you know, kind of go from there. Well, guys, uh, here we go. Just got the uh, bike all tuned up. Um, you know, rewrote it a couple of things, changed a couple of things, tightened it, make sure it wasn't going to fall apart. Left the tags on the wheel and on the bar, of course, for the new owner. You know, adjusted a couple of things. I found a couple of bolts that were uncomfortably loose. But uh, that would have sure enough gave trouble later on, but um, you know, again, that must be what their standards are, so whatever's. Uh, one thing I will say, and I've noticed it even on the display models, even in the store, so this isn't even a one-off. This cable here is about, uh, I don't know, two inches too long. It should be a little bit uh, tighter to the bars. Not, of course, tight enough that it um, interferes with you know the turning the riding and stuff like that but uh, tight enough that um, you know it should be uh, so you're not going to get tangled or anything but also keep in mind too this isn't a mountain bike an off-road bike this is a road bike a cruiser bike so really you're not going to be around any trees anything that shouldn't be uh, um, catching on that anyways but she's all tuned up, um, good to go for the season, and ready for its new owner. 
So I guess that concludes part two of the Schwinn Momento uh, brand new assembly um, repair vid. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.